Today we're at the Sussex Exchange, a business conference and cinema venue in St Leonard's near Hastings. We're discussing the issue of attracting inward investment by encouraging businesses to relocate to a town which despite significant challenges is in recovery. Hastings offers lower business overheads, vibrant lifestyle and culture, and what some claim to be a better work-life balance. My guest today is the Home Secretary and Member of Parliament for Hastings and Rye, Amber Rudd, and she joins me now. Amber Rudd, welcome to the Sussex Exchange. Thank you, lovely to be here. Hastings has been listed as one of the many coastal towns which have suffered decline in recent times. Uh, it seems that Hastings is actually bringing its way out of that with regeneration and, and development in the area. Tell me, how would you describe the present state of the local economy here in Hastings? Well, I would agree with that interpretation. Uh, the fact is that Hastings is on the up. We've seen lots of new investment, lots of new businesses starting up, and we've still retained our sort of cultural differences. You know, a lot of my friends come down here and they love the fact that we have so many independent shops, so many quirky festivals throughout the year that people can go to celebrating our particular difference. You know, something to do with sometimes about fishing, something to do with our local wine. There's so much going on here. So I would describe Hastings as a, ta a really welcoming town and a town where families can really settle and enjoy themselves and where businesses can get started or just expand. When you talk about businesses setting up, are you talking about businesses who are already here or new startups already located in the Hastings area? Or are you talking about people actually, business owners moving into the area from you elsewhere? Know, it's actually, it's a combination. We do see people moving down from London and setting up their businesses here or just continuing their businesses here. But we're also seeing the entrepreneurial spirit really alive and well down here as people want to stay here because the quality of the housing, the fantastic festivals and opportunities, being on the sea, and then they're finding their own way to make their living. And perhaps sometimes going to London once or twice a week. It's a, it's a whole variety. People who love and know Hastings want to make their living here. And there's all, it's all sorts of different ways of doing that. One question that business owners have been asking a lot when we, we did some surveys is does Hastings, does the workforce possess the relevant skills that incoming employers require? Well, I know that's an issue, and actually a lot of employers raise that with me too. They say to me, where are we going to get the additional talent when we expand? How are we going to find that locally? And the great thing about Hastings is that our schools are improving a lot. We also have a college that's very responsive to local businesses. Where we have a large local business and they know that they might be needing new people, they tend to work with the college to make sure that the training's there. So there's good evidence that our education establishment can respond to the needs of the local business. In terms of the broader issues of employment in the area, I see that we have approximately 44,000 people between the age of 16 and 60, so eligible for work and probably most of them working. Um, unemployment figure comes out at around about 2,500, which represents 5.9% of the population in Hastings against the national average of 4.6%. How, how do you view that and what, what is there being done to try to get more of these 2,500 or 5.9% back into work? Well, the good news is that the number of people out of work on the key out of work benefits has fallen by nearly a third since 2010. And the number of young people who aren't in work has fallen by over 5%. So there's a lot of progress that's been made here, which shows that businesses are expanding and are able to employ local people, which I really celebrate. But of course we need to do more. I want to make sure that everybody in Hastings has the opportunity of a good job and the, art and the opportunity to earn a pay packet to look after their family. So I'm making sure that we have a lot of different initiatives available to help people who might find it harder to get into jobs. Not everybody has got the top qualifications necessary that they might otherwise need to get into one of the top employers. We need to make sure that we have support for people who really need it, who might not have the best education behind them. And I'm making sure that we do have additional providers in the town to really reach out and help people.